So the challenging part here is that there is e to the 2x on the bottom. And if it were just e to the 2x, it would be fine, because then it's e to the minus 2x, and that's a simple integral. But this is totally different. So if you just have e to the x's, you can actually always get rid of them pretty easily, taking advantage of the fact that the derivative of e to the x is, once again, e to the x. So the creative thing to do here is to multiply the whole thing by e to the x and make up for it by dividing by e to the x. Do you see how this always gets rid of e to the x? Because, and if I were doing it on my own, I wouldn't <coughs> rewrite the whole thing. I would just erase and turn this into e to the x. But basically, you have this. You take advantage of the fact that e to the x is the derivative of e to the x, so it can move under the d sign. And so we once again see the emergence of a rational function. The one thing that you need to keep in mind is that e to the 2x, this is elementary algebra, is e to the x quantity squared. <coughs> Sometimes that can hide from you. So substituting u for e to the x, we basically end up with a fraction. So why don't I just write this out silently? Okay, so the one remaining question is, where did I get minus x? Well, from here, the integral is minus log of u. And u is e to the x, so it becomes minus log of e to the x. But by the very definition of what log means, log of e to the x is x. That's very important, and I expect you to get it right tomorrow minus x.